Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. This is Jacer who is not good at algorithms. I'm making these videos to prepare my interview in next month. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take a look at 498 diagonal travels. We're given a matrix of n by n elements. We turn all the elements of the matrix in diagonal order as shown in the below image. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 9. We need to return 1, 2, 4, 7, 5, 3, 6, 8, 9. Well, let's analyze what's the characteristic of this problem. So we are going to return uh, this array into another format, like in a diagonal way, right? So what's the common, what's, what are these three numbers in common? which is in a in the same diagonal. Well, if we take like take a look at the index, we know that for 3, the index should be 1 0 2. This is 1 1 2 1. So their sum will be is the same for diagonal, right? This sum is uh, 0 1 2 1 1 2 uh, 3 uh, 4. So this is the this is this is the, how to say, this is the key of each diagonal, right? Well, the, for the direction, if it is the first one, it's to the right. If next one is to the left, right? If you look at the, uh, to the, yeah, look at in a horizontal view, right, left, right, left, right. So we could also de determine the uh, direction just by the, uh, the key. The, the 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 oddness of the key right so we could actually create each create all the array for each diagonal and we loop through original matrix like one because it's to right we push oh no we like this no we uh unshift right if it is uh if it is uh uh, this is odd, uh, this is even, this is odd. If we travel this way, then we push, right? And then finally, we would collect all the collect all the diagonal array, and it will generate the output, right? right? Cool, let's try to do that. Diagonal. Uh, well, how many are there for like this for this one you see that there should be uh, m this is the n so n plus n minus 1 right so new array m plus matrix as a const rows equals matrix dot n const columns equals matrix net if matrix is empty it might be empty right yeah matrix the length if rows return empty because we're, we're using dot zero and length so this might be empty new array rows plus class plus one a minus one right and now we could loop through all the numbers in a ordinary way ordinary uh, order Key would be I plus J. Right? And if key, if it is R, then we unshift. Oh, the first one is uh, uh, even, right? This is uh, 0, 0, so it's even. So if it is even, 
then we unshift. It should be diagnose key unshift. The unshift rows are no matrix I okay. That's num equals cache the num. For the other cases, we are shift, we will push the num, right? This is uh, even, uh, even, and then we push, yeah, finally, and then we collect the result, right? Just to return. Return uh, diagnose, reduce result AR empty return result result will push dot 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 RR. Run the code. <sighs> um, we forgot to initialize. This is my bad map. Okay. Cool. Submit. Yay! We're accepted. And uh, let's try to analyze the time and space complexity. The time. Uh, we are actually traverse all the elements and then traverse through them again, right? So it's two time, two round, and so it's generally m and space. We use uh, this array to hold all the elements, but it's actually this is the result, and uh, yeah. We use an extra uh, this diagnose. It's also M N. Yeah, so that's all for this problem. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.